Hey guys, we're going to do an IOP program on the AFR Blue Hornet heads, and we're going to compare them to the GT40 race project iron heads that, uh, that I did and put a ton of effort into. Now, of course, they're different applications. The, uh, the GT40 race was a 289, 30 over, so it's a 292. That needs to go to 8,500 RPM in a road race application. The AFR Blue Hornets were probably going to be more like 390 cube stroker 360 Mopar for uh, high performance street duty. Okay, this is our GT40 race. We're 170 uh, cc port volume. It's a 1.9 intake valve. It's 1130 second stems. It's got a 1.67 throat ratio, which is relatively tight. And we top out around 259. Uh, my recent uh, conversation with my buddy that I get these castings from is like, if you hit 250, you're done. Yeah, Charlie doesn't listen. But then again, I didn't know about that before I did this. In fact, this was an average uh, cylinder. So I got more than that out of some other ones. Some other important stuff, bore diameter is 4.11, which is what we've got on the bore adapter. 57.5 exhaust port, which is a huge exhaust port for a small block Ford, at least an iron small block Ford. That I had to shrink the exhaust down to a 1.545 exhaust valve with a 1.42 throat which is a relatively large throat for that size everything else on here is your radiuses your compression ratio which is 12.5 dv said you really need more like 13 to 1 in that engine which i i explained that and gave that to the uh the customers info uh i know a lot of guys like the black column right that is your uh, intake exhaust flow ratio. If you're right around 70 or so, you're pretty good. Uh, at the lower at the lower lifts, we're 80 plus. So that'll get it done. Okay, our second page, which has the seat angles and seat widths, things like that. There's tons and tons of information on this sheet. And all the way at the end, we have our swirl, which was turned out to be a really nice swirl curve. Basically, relatively dead until we are 350 thousandths. And she starts taking off. That's really going to work out nice. Let's compare all that stuff to the Blue Hornet. Okay, here's our Blue Hornet specs. The intake port came out to 185 cc so it's not a gigantic port and to be honest the way that head is cast I would definitely use a different casting if you need a bigger port than that okay we've got our 202 it's a uh, I think it's an 8 millimeter stem on that so 0.315 I believe is the right number for that throat diameter was a little bit big it came out to hold on Came out to a 91.4% intake throat and 86.3% exhaust throat when I went through all the info on this uh, Blue Hornet. We got an 81cc exhaust port. We got a 63cc chamber. Okay, uh, bore adapter is the same. Exhaust port, 81cc. The exhaust valves are 1.6. The exhaust throat is 1.38. And you get your port lengths and so forth. Our radiuses are a little bit bigger on this. They're a half inch. And these are our flows we got out of it. It actually flowed better. I think there's a mistake on this sheet. Hold on. No, I'm right. It goes uh, 274.6 at 500. Well, that's what I was looking for. And in reality, I think it even did better than that through the intake manifold yeah we got 281 at 575 lift through the intake manifold good to keep in mind so these are these are our flows intake exhaust we'll take a look at our exhaust ratios the exhaust port is a pretty decent exhaust port for uh, our intake port 
The one thing that is interesting to notice on this is a port mean speed is a little shy. We like 300. It's a little shy. We're good on the exhaust, but our intake port could have been a little faster. Now, that, that may be due to the uh, little bit bigger throat that it had in it. So that's something to keep in mind. Should mention uh, that Stan Weiss got in touch with me, and he this is his latest version, 4.6.1. It is a little more user-friendly, which is great for someone who is not that great on a computer, like me. Okay, second page, we've got our angles and our widths. We've got tons of info. And then we have our swirl. The swirl curve is actually quite good as well. It starts off low and increases with lift. That'll uh, definitely get it done in a, a street stroker application. would be really w work really well, I think. Okay, our first screen. Test one is the GT40 race. Test two is the AFR Blue Hornet. These are our flows, right? Then we go through, we hit calculate, we hit graph, and there's our graph. Now, you can see the, the dark, the thick lines are the GT40 race. I'm sorry. The thick lines are the Blue Hornet. The thin lines are the GT40 race. So we got a little more flow out of the bigger head but they're both pretty darn good. They're both relatively good uh, worked up flows for what they are. Okay, CFM per square inch, calculate, graph, all of our, all of our flows. This is very, very much uh, dictated by our valve job. So we're in pretty good shape. We're well over 100% efficiency. The, the thick red line is the valve job on the AFR Hornets, which has my typical top cut, chamber cut, and radius. Works really well. I was... Black Forest Cuckoo. Okay, uh, forgot where I was, but overall, not bad. Okay, they both go up after your 0.25D line. They should go up a little bit more, but they don't notice this. This thin one here is has a little bit better recovery. That was probably due to the incredible amount of work that I have put into that head. Okay, let's move on. SAE CD calculate graph. It's a very similar curve to what we just looked at. Okay, you're showing the efficiency of the valve job and so forth. I'm I'm going to go through this relatively quick, guys. Mean port velocity. Now this is this is an interesting. This tells us a lot. Okay. The Blue Hornet is a touch slow. Okay, we would like to see this over 300 here. It's not. It's a little bit, it's only like 280 and change. Okay, and the GT40 is not that much better. It's like right at 300. Both exhausts are a little fast, but the faster they are, the more efficient they're probably going to be my opinion, which means nothing. Okay, port energy, calculate, graph. Okay, we've got we've got solid port energy on both designs. Both of them are pretty darn good. The the thin line is the GT40 race extra huge exhaust port, which loses a lot of efficiency. Okay, you can see the difference here. The AFR has got a better exhaust port design. Okay, port energy density, calculate graph. Okay, now this is a similar 
chart, but it takes out the port length out of the equation. And you can see the huge difference in your exhaust ports right there, okay? The larger exhaust port I'm sorry. Thick is your AFR. As soon as we take out the length of the port out of the equation, the GT40 exhaust looks a lot better as far as port energy. Port energy density per foot of port length. Okay. Our intakes, pretty close. We do dive a little bit on the AFR Blue Hornet when you take the length of the port out of the equation. Okay, effective velocity is telling us what we're doing right at the valve seat. Uh, we're almost 400 feet per, sec uh, per second when we crack the valves off. All, all of the valves are super fast right off of there. And the more that they hold up, the better off they do. So if we look at our thick graph on the exhaust, the AFR Blue Hornet is definitely the winner in this chart. The intake port is the loser. Wish I could have done a little more with that intake port. Just do not have the casting thickness. Does that mean it's not going to run great? I think it's going to run fabulous, but in reality, I wish they did the the casting a little different. It would have made it a much better head. Okay, our swirl charts. They're actually quite similar, right? Relatively low, and then they both take off. Either one will work really, really well, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, effective SAECD. Okay, so you can see the thick AFR Blue Hornet looks best on this, on this graph as far as the exhaust. Same thing, intake was the worst. The GT40 race, very similar intake and exhaust curves. I should have mentioned that this is the flow sheet we're using on it. It is... I use the back of that page to write everything else out. This is the flow sheet we're using. This is number seven cut, final valve job. And if you take a look, we maxed out at 278 at 0.55 and 281 through the intake manifold. Not bad. Not bad at all, especially when you consider it's a 185cc port, guys. Okay, this one's got all our information as far as CC's, length of the runners, runner design. You can see I made a mistake on our drawing, but you can see the radical upswing on a Chrysler exhaust port, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Our heights, widths, and valve sizes. Okay, we're going to go back to the Blue Hornet page. We're going to take a look at our mean area, 2.299. And we're going to apply that to another page. Okay, some of the info we're going to put in here is our mean port area. Bore is 4030, which I think is correct for a 30 over uh, 360 block. We'll put a 4-inch stroker crank in it. We max out at 278 at... 0.55 inch lift which is certainly doable with a hydraulic roller cam we made the compression a street friendly 10.6 to 1 okay so at this point we are we have to tell this to calculate okay so at this point it tells us what we're what we're doing okay so first thing it should tell us is it's a 408. Okay. Our peak horsepower is only 61 and change. Very doable. 6600 shift. Remember, it's designed right around 6500, so that all works. Our mean piston speed, 4000 and change. Very doable. Best torque output, 570. Cylinder head port horsepower limitation, 590. 
cylinder head airflow horse limitation 613 I always feel like that's a little high but it would be interesting if we got some feedback on this our mock index we didn't change so it's 0.548 torque per cubic inch 1.39 not bad for a street motor torque per liter 85.2 horsepower per cube 1.5 not bad and if built like this I bet it'll come pretty close to that it'll definitely be over I'm gonna say it's gonna be a 500 plus horsepower package no problem if you guys don't agree with me you let me know and we're 15 minutes in I think we've covered enough of this don't be afraid to ask me questions on this this is actually gonna get cleaned up and packed and we're going to be moving on to some other goodies soon. Thanks to Stan Weiss for sending me the latest version. And thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.